Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to provide you guys with some information related to iOS 6.0.2 and 6.1, as well as the jailbreak status for all of my viewers who are asking about it. Now, all right, for those of you who don't know, iOS 6.0.2 was released yesterday for the iPhone 5 as well as the iPad mini. So it is exclusive to these two iOS-based devices. And if you're familiar with Apple, you'll know they hate fragmentation, and that's one of the main reasons why they start to phase out iOS devices after releasing new ones aside from trying to get people to upgrade to the newest and the latest iOS based device. But the main point is that Apple tries to stray away from fragmentation as much as possible, which seems rather odd that they would only release 6.0.2 for two different iOS based devices when they have other devices as well that did not get the upgrade to 6.0.2. Now at this point you may be asking, well what does 6.0.2 do? Well essentially it only fixes a bug that could impact Wi-Fi. As you can see I have a screenshot here here that's just of the settings application and it's of the software update portion of the settings application and again as you can see this 6.0.2 update only addresses a bug that could affect the Wi-Fi connectivity of either the iPhone 5 or the iPad mini. So while most will be able to update through iOS's built-in over-the-air update feature some users will actually have to plug their device into their computer download the software update via iTunes and actually install it that way and the reason for that again is that this addresses an unnamed bug which does affect the Wi-Fi connectivity. So one main theory as to why Apple would release a new firmware for only two devices is that they're trying to prepare for iOS 6.1 so that all users will be able to use Apple's over-the-air update feature to actually upgrade to 6.1, which should be released in the near future. A day before Apple pushed out 6.0.2, they actually seeded iOS 6.1 beta 4 to developers. So we're getting closer to the release of 6.1. Now let's talk about the possibility of a jailbreak for 6.0.2. Essentially, I'm just going to be blunt and say that there will not be a jailbreak for 6.0.2. Again, it's only for two of Apple's latest iOS-based devices, and as of now, the only real jailbreak for iOS 6 and 6.0.1 is the tethered jailbreak using Red Snow, which only encompasses the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and the fourth generation iPod Touch. Again, because it uses a boot ROM exploit that was discovered by GeoHot, the Lime Rain exploit, which has since been patched with the release of later devices, and it continues continues to function on again the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, and the fourth generation iPod Touch because it's a hardware exploit and the only way that Apple can patch hardware exploits is by releasing new iOS devices, which obviously they've done since the A4 powered iPhone and iPod Touch. Now as for iOS 6.1, it will be jailbreakable as soon as it's released via Red Snow, again that tethered jailbreak for only the iPhone 4, 3GS, as well as the fourth generation iPod Touch. Now for those of you who are wondering about a jailbreak for all other iOS based devices, I just wanted to bring up this article article on Best Tech Info, because as of now, this is the latest information for all iOS devices that are powered by an A5, A5X, A6, or A6X processor, which includes the iPad 2, the iPhone 4S, the third generation iPad, the iPhone 5, the fourth generation iPad, the iPad mini, and the fifth generation iPod Touch. So basically, the bulk of the devices that can go to iOS 6 or later are essentially stuck right now, because the tethered jailbreak is the only jailbreak available. So Joshua Hill, aka POSIX Ninja, Ninja, former leader of the Chronic Dev team, is actually working solo to complete a boot ROM jailbreak for those devices with those processors. Like I said, a boot ROM jailbreak is based on a hardware exploit which cannot be patched by Apple unless they release a new device. So he's essentially trying to ensure the future of jailbreaking by releasing again something that will technically be a permanent jailbreak that will function even when new firmwares are released. So yes, this is old news from November 19th, however this is the latest news as far as the jailbreak goes for the newest devices and of course this does include iOS 6.1 so he's working tediously to try and get this jailbreak ready to jailbreak all of Apple's latest iOS based devices on the newest firmwares. So essentially that's kind of what we're looking at right now. 6.0.2 will not be jailbreakable for the iPhone 5 or the iPad mini. We're looking forward to iOS 6.1 because hopefully after it's released POSIX Ninja will have some great news regarding the jailbreak. Now as far as all of my viewers who are asking whether or not to upgrade to 6.0.2 if you have an iPhone 5 or an iPad mini, that's up to you. A lot of the major jailbreakers are saying do not update. In my experience though, when they release a new jailbreak for new devices, they try and release it for the newest possible firmware. They're saying that to cover all of the bases just in case Apple happens to patch an exploit that they were going to use to release a jailbreak for a previous firmware. So again, that's really up to you. If you do upgrade though, you're almost guaranteed to get a jailbreak when it's released for the newer devices. 
So I hope you guys liked this video. Again, just giving you some very basic information on the iOS 6 and up jailbreak, also going over 6.0.2 and 6.1. So if you liked it, just be sure to rate it up and leave a comment down below in the comment section to enter my iPad 4 giveaway. All you have to do is leave a relevant comment and once it's posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. Finally, don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and add me to one of your circles inside of Google Plus to be updated more often. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.